So our application is done, but unfortunately, right now we are using localhost to deploy our backend. But since we cannot have our localhost running all the time to keep our users happy to make their own payments, we are going to post our backend on a website that is going to be hosting our application. So we don't have to run our localhost all the time to test. So in order to do that, we are going to use Heroku. And if you are not familiar with it, just go to heroku.com and you'll see this uh, interface here. You can deploy different uh, applications here. You can see all the types Heroku supports. We are going to deploy uh, Node.js. So if you don't have an account, you can sign up. If you already have an account, just go ahead and log in. I'm going to log in. So once you log in, you will be in your dashboard. Here you can create a new application and then you have to give your application a name. I'm going to call mine uh, iOS Dev School Market. And you don't have to have space and sometimes you may have the name is not available. So just change to something else. And you have to choose region, Europe or USA. I'm in Europe, so I'm choosing the Europe and then just click create the application. Once it's done, it will take you to the area where it will show you how to deploy the application. And we have this overview of your application resources. But what we are interested in is deploying our application because we have the application and we want to deploy it to Heroku. So the instructions are pretty simple. You have one four, seven lines to write, and then your application will be deployed to Heroku. So let's start from the first line. We have got to open our terminal. And as it says here, we have to log in to our Heroku. So we say Heroku, login. And then it will say, press any button to take you to the browser to log in. So I click enter. And then I can say login and I have to put my credentials. Since we have just logged in to our Heroku, you don't have to put the credentials again. You can say you can close this and get back to your terminal. And if you open the terminal, it says that you are logged in as, and then it tells you the user uh, email that you have logged in. So the first one is done. Then we can create a uh, project so since we already have a project, what I'm going to do is to go to my project locations. I say CD and mine is on desktop. Then I have <clears throat> market and I have backend. Oops. So if I say LS now, you will see that I'm in my backend folder with four documents here. So what we are going to do, let me just put this on the side here. We are going to clone the project that we have. So I'm going to say git init in order to create a git project in my current location, just hit enter. this pass and put it in our terminal. Just hit enter. And this is going to get the remote git. And once we are done, we are going to say git add dot. And then this will add. And then we say git commit um, and then we're going to put any message here. I'm going to say initial version, hit enter. 
and then we say git push Heroku master let's hit enter and this is going to go and push our project to our Heroku so we can go to our logs here and see what's going on when we are pushing our application to git repository this build succeeded starting with command nmp master and then we have an error here so let's see until it finishes so we have finished and the error here it says that uh, we are missing a script start so in order to fix this error i'm going to go to my project here our backend folder open the packages json and here when we have our script and then it says test what i'm going to do is put a comma here and then i am going to say start and we are going to tell which is our start uh, starting point of our project so ours is index.js so i'm going to say node index.js and if i save this I can close this. Remember in our terminal, we used to write node index.js to start our project. And once we save it, we can close. We can go to our terminal again. If you are not familiar with the code, you can open the deploy again. So we just have to change, uh, add our commits and then push it to our GitHub again. So what I'm going to do, sorry, not GitHub, to our Heroku. I'm going to say git add dot so we add our changes then i'm going to say git commit um, and let's say final version oops And then we're going to say git push Heroku master. I think something is wrong here. Let me just, because I have put something wrong there. So I'm going to say git commit and Okay, so we committed the files and then I will say git push Heroku master. And this is going to go and push our project. So let's go to view the logs on our terminal here. It says build succeeded. Uh, let's put this on the side. All right, now this is what we had there, localhost running on port when our file was successfully running. So if I, if I open my app here, errors again, and let's uh, check our log here. It says like uh, starting process with command NMP start, and then it goes, and then once our application is running, we need to get the port and says not app is running on port unidentified. So we don't know on which port it's running and that's why actually it doesn't even open the project when you click open, it stays black page. So in order to fix this issue, let's go to our uh, index.js file, which is right here. And we're going to add some extra things here. First, we are going to comment out this because this is for our local host. And I'm going to instead write, let's just copy and paste and look at the code. We're going to say listen, get port, and then the function, and we're going to just say app is running, and then we want to get the port where it's running. So I'm putting a new code here. So this is the new line. And then at the top here, 
under our uh, constant app express we need to put two more a uh, few more lines here so i'm going to copy and paste this as well and i'm going to provide you the code so you can do the same if you don't want to type i just put here new code and i'm going to save this and we can close this get back to our terminal here i'm going to say git add dot to add the new things here and then we say git commit am and say final and it says how many lines we have added and then we say git push heroku master just hit enter and let's jump back to our safari here to see our terminal and it says build started by user isdevschool gmail.com and now we are going to finish our uploading our project so let's see in our log what's going on here as build succeeded and now we say node app is running on port and we have the port number actually so if i open my application now you can see it runs and it prints hello ios dev school but what we are interested in is in this domain i'm going to copy this and i'm going to go back to my xcode project go to constants and instead of base url being our local host i'm going to comment that out and put the new heroku domain that we just got and if we run our application now we should be able to process our payments without even having our local host running so let's go and get some let's buy the bike again add this to our basket go to our basket and try to check out pay with the card let me put the card number and just click done and hopefully this will process our payment and payment is successful quickly jumping to our stripe here to see if we just receive the payments dashboard and go to payment so now it's sunday 9 32 a.m and we just bought something for 200 euro 25th 9 32 a.m so our payment processing was done properly and now we are running our backend on heroku so you don't have to use your local host there